Hello, I will be your instructor today about making movies from your games with Fraps and Windows Movie Maker. Step 1. First off, you need to install Fraps from www.fraps.com or buy it at any computer store. And of course, after you install it, open it. At your lower right hand corner, you will see an icon of a computer with a 99 in the corner. In Fraps, go to the Movies section and select your FPS frames per second. Then choose if you want the mouse in the movie or not. Then choose what button hotkey you want to press in order to take the movie. Then choose if you want a full-size or a half-sized movie. Full-size is full-screen. Half-size is widescreen. Then, if you want your game sound, press record. After that, Choose the sound input you want. Then go to the FPS section and disable the overlay corner unless if you want a yellow number in a corner of your movie. Minimize the program. Do not close it. Finally, go to your game. Step 2. In the game, choose which part or section of game you want to take. Press your hotkey and it will start recording that part of the game. Hint, since Fraps doesn't have enough time to focus the videos, your movies will take up very large memory spaces. So try to take a short video when you do it. Press the hotkey again when you want to stop. Congratulations! You have just taken a mini movie. You can view your mini movie in your Fraps folder whenever you want to. Keep taking movies until you think you have enough. Step 3. Open Windows Movie Maker. Find it by clicking Start then Programs. There, almost at the end, it will have a colored film roll icon and the words Windows Movie Maker next to it. Click or double click on it and it will open. From here on, it's pretty simple. On the left, it should say Capture Video. Here, we want to click Import Video. There we can open the mini movie S yes, that we took and import it to the program. There, it'll load onto collection in the middle of your screen. There, we can drag it into the storyboard or timeline. Storyboard is easier. We can keep on this process into any order you like with your movies. If you need help identifying the movies, there's a player on the right that shows your imported videos if you press play. When you're done, you might want to have storyboard on this one if you don't have it on. Go to Edit Movie and click Make Titles or Credits. You can edit the font and background by scrolling down in that section. There you can put words in the beginning, in the end, in between or in the process of your movies. Then test your movie and see if it works properly. And pretty much you are done unless if you want special effects or more audio or music files. For adding music or audio files, go to your storyboard and click the button Show Timeline if you don't have it on. Then import the audio or music files into the collection space and drag it into the audio section. There, you have your sound. Finally, watch your movie, edit it, or save it. To save it in the .avi format, not saving it as a project, you go to the Finish Movie section in the Movie Tasks and click Save to My Computer. You can also save it many other ways, but for right now, save it to your computer. I want to thank SIT for letting me showing this and my movie and you for watching it. Bye.